I've got a few of these ramps to repair. You see the broken through there. Bad design really, there's no reinforcing. They've snapped exactly where the heavy stuff stops. So I'm gonna put a reinforcing piece in and a piece on here. I'll cut that through and straighten it up first, weld it back together, and then probably use a plasma to cut out two nice reinforcing pieces. Right, I've got it straightened up, and I've got a few tacks on it. So I'm going to cut two bits of aluminium, probably quarter a plate to go down there, just to try and put some strength back into it. So we'll do a quick draw on the computer and just cut it out with a plasma. Aluminium, they're cutting that a lot quicker than I thought it would. I haven't cut a lot of aluminium. Okay, we're going to put this reinforcing piece in. You see that's actually solid aluminium there in this box section here, so it's going to take a lot more amperage to weld that bit than it is to weld that bit. I've got another camera running, so hopefully, we'll get some decent off shots. Let me see. Right, everything's sort of in motion now. There's a lot of crap coming out of this. Here's the aluminium. Certainly not be pretty as TIG welding, but it's not bad. The piece of plate I used was actually painted. I've grown the paint up as best I can, but aluminium has really got to be very clean before you try and weld it. I've been asked by one of my viewers to cut him an 8 inch circle out of a 2 mil plate. Uh, the lad's got a YouTube channel, he's just starting off. I'm going to put uh, the name of his YouTube channel here. Certainly worth a look, he does more or less the same sort of machine work I do, and he's got very similar machines. At the minute, he's doing it with a rotary table, and that's what this circle and that was for. a lot quicker than using a, a grinder that little bit of dust just stays off this cutout's for a friend for Christmas it's probably one of my favourite ones I'm actually doing it twice the size I normally cut them and I've done quite a lot of these ones
the torch in and saw the dog. Torch is starting to knock the torch out of the lane, that's why you can't walk away and leave it. You've got to watch it all the same. The second you walk away, you come back and the bastard thing's crashed. Can anybody guess what it is yet? See how the plate's starting to buckle with the heat, and that's still the plate. But the, the plasma's got what they call the four tape control, and that measures the voltage between the arc and the metal, and it lifts the torque to keep it, the distance of the plastic to 1.5 millimeters. You can see how it works, it's uh, absolutely fascinating. That's it, job done. Gonna we'll cool down and do a light clean up with a wire wheel. Simply got paint them, simply got doing. You need a light left. Basically, you hang up on the outside of a chair and the roof will look really good. I've spent a bit of time this morning welding up the aluminium ramps. When you're welding on a bench like this, it's not too bad with a tight torch because you can rest your hand on the bench and you can move along nice and controllable. But if you try to weld along the top of there, it's virtually impossible to hold your hand steady. It's too hard, it is for me anyway. So you need something to rest your hand on. I use various blocks of wood, bits and pieces, anything that's going to give us a little bit of support at the right sort of right sort of place. That would work there. If that was on a rotating table, that would be fine. I can think of a much better use for that. So I've decided to make myself a proper adjustable rest, just to rest my hand on when I'm TIG welding. So I'm going to alter the height from basically down there somewhere to up here. I've had a look around to see what I can find lying around the shop and i found one or two bits and pieces that will definitely be suitable to make a TIG welding hand rest. The first thing I came across is a mag base, that's a Noga one, it's a really good one, really nice and strong and I always weld on a steel bench. So that would do for a base. Threads in there here the 8mm. I've got two or three of these heavy wall aluminium pieces. I'm not sure what what they were for. I got them given in some some gear. But they've got 8mm holes in the end. So I thought if I mount that one on there, and that's going to give us an upright. Just a little 8mm 8mm stud which we've got here. Screw that into it's a little bit on the short side when something slightly longer. Screw it there quite nicely. Without affecting the mechanism. So this is quite a strong, quite a sturdy affair. It's certainly going to be strong enough just to rest my arm on. Next thing I found is one of these. Made by Manfrotto, that clamps. I've got a few of them uh, used for clamping, for putting lights on or clamping cameras. They're really handy. They do get a very good hole. And on the bottom of here, I've got various threads. The first one's quarter ONC, and I think they're 6mm. So I could probably drill and tap one of those out and just screw that into there. That is it. 
fitting goes in there, the quicker it's fitting, but it's not really stable enough for what I want it to do. So probably that in there. I mean obviously I'm not going to be going that far away with your arm. We'll change the threads in there to 8mm and give it a try. I'll probably end up putting a plate on here that moves. Uh, not quite sure. I'll see what that feels like when that's more under there. But it's certainly a good start. It's obviously fully adjustable up and down. And the mag base will just twist around. I think we're just going to do this freehand. 6.8mm. Eight mil machine top. Threads in there. It's like a magnesium based material, this is uh, quite decent stuff. Man, for it will do make good camera accessories. That's much better, I could sort of fiddle with that, definitely. I think I will put a, a plate on here, it slides as well, and that's the full weight of my arm resting on there. I may cut this off just so it's not quite so bulky. It's also going to be quite useful as well as a, as a light mount or even a mount for a camera. I'm always trying to find different ways for mounting lights and mounting cameras. The only problem I could have is this being on a welding bench with all the sparks and all the grinding dust and shite, it'll stick to the magnet. And it's going to do the job. So I'll shorten that off and then see what we're going to make the slide on there. I actually think it's a solid aluminium. It's heavy enough. In which case I'll put on the lathe and part it off. I'll probably put some more threads on the end of there. Just in case I want to mount something on the end of it. Solid, it's very heavy wall tube, heavy wall tube. Quite useful material to have.
that really is useful material. I think I've got half a dozen of those uh, pieces the same length. So I'm not quite sure what they were off, but they're certainly, certainly useful. These are the ramps I welded up this morning. So using this, it's so simple, I can rest my hand on there, slide it along, no problem at all, and I can even rest my hand on there, putting the filler rod in it if I wanted to. It's going to be quite a useful tool, nice and slippy, so you can get a good, a good run. And even at the end of there, that's taken away to my hand, no problem. See, the only thing will be all the shite will stick to the magnet, but it's not the end of the world. I've also got lights like this one. Put a floodlight there, if I can mount that. Under here. Really going to be a, a handy little, handy little bit of kit. These often come up second hand on eBay whenever they do I buy them. I've got probably six of them now. This is the last nightcap before Christmas. I don't really care what religion you are or what you believe in. What I believe in is that Christmas is a time for people, a time for looking after and caring for people. It's difficult times we're living in, I realise that. But if you've got parents alive, ring them up if you can't go and see them. Just say hello. Unfortunately, my dad's had to go back in the hospital. He, he had a fall and uh, he's back in there. They're looking after him and hopefully he's going to be coming out uh, in the new year. Anyway, once again, thanks for watching. And I'll see you all next week.